I will discuss today about purpose of life. Assalamu alaikum and a very good evening to all of you. <coughs> How are you all doing today? MashaAllah, that's really wonderful. Alhamdulillahi wa kafa wa salamun ala ibadihi alladhi nastafa amma ba'd. With the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, all praises and thanks due to Allah, the Lord of the universe, the master of the day of judgment. And I bear witness that Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his servant and final messenger, May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him and upon all those who choose to trade his path until the last day. Dear audience, my dear brother, I would like to extend my deepest gratitude to Madrasa Baitul Uloom and Sunnah English Medium School as well as my respected teacher and dear honorable trainer Maulana Abdul Haq Sahib Hafizahullah for providing us with a wonderful platform to enlighten our brains and develop our personalities. I will discuss today about purpose of life. My dear brothers and my dear friends, there are many creations in this world each of creations has his purpose, his aim, his vision in this world. When we ask ourselves, what is our purpose, means our creation, then Allah Rabbul Iza says in the Quran, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I didn't create it, the jinns and human beings so they might worship me alone. This is the purpose of our creation in this world. But what the definition of worship? What the meaning of ibadah? Ibadah doesn't mean only just to perform salah, give zakah, pay some charity and fulfill hajj and keep fasting, etc. This is the fund this is, these are the fundamentals of Islam. But actual mean of ibadah, actual definition of worship, that what we ordered by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have to do this. And avoid from those things what is Allah Rabbul Iza stay upon us my dear brothers now let's we know ourselves we review ourselves how we are doing our life how we are going through our life are we worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala properly or not It feels, when we feel that we are living our life, that we never, never die. And we will be here always and never return toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. While Allah Rabbul Iza says, أَفَحَسِبُتُمْ أَنَّمَا خَلَقْنَاكُمْ عَبَسَ وَأَنَّكُمْ إِلَيْنَا لَا تُرْجَعُونَ Did you think did you understand that we had created you without any purpose? وَأَنَّكُمْ إِلَيْنَا لَا تُرْجَعُونَ And you would not be brought to back to us. My dear brothers, we have to return, we have to surely return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have to die, we must die one day. After that, 
what we do allah rabbul izza says wa annakum ilayna la turja'un did you think did you understand that you would not be brought to us last thing we realize now we have the time we have the opportunity we have the life we make them useful we make make them useful otherwise we will be upset on the day of judgment at last we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may allah grant us tawfiq to prepare the hereafter and protect us from the hell fire i end up my talk with a special thanks to you all wonderful people for listening to me with great patience thank you so much and have a fantastic day